Hi everybody, this is Seth again. I wanted to make a video to let you all know what's up. First of all, I am back in university, school, whatever you call it, this fall. So, yeah, I plan on still releasing videos, but if it's not, I plan on trying to do it every week. If it's not every week, please forgive me. Second, I wanted to provide some content of things that I found that I think are important in the technological community today. So, let me first tell you. The first one is a product called Matrix. It's an open source, matrix.org. It's an open source distributed communication network. And it's federated, which means I could launch my own Matrix server and you could launch yours. I could have a user base on mine and they can talk to yours. The purpose of this would be like a replacement for Google Hangouts or Slack, which, or even your local phone usage. You can make calls with it and you can do just, you know, video calls both and I think this is an important kind of technology to have evolve and to be used more frequently because well first of all what if hap what would happen if say Google just disappeared no more hangouts nothing else could happen maybe maybe not anyway the Having a federated system means that if one institution that owns that, not just the server, goes down, everyone else can still c c talk to each other. Anyway, so yeah, Matrix is the basis of, an, of a real-world application you can download on your phone today called Riot. Riot is another company, but they build on the Matrix Foundation. And let me show you some. Okay, so this is the Riot website and you the requirements for Riot are you just have to give them a username and a password. You don't need to provide an email or a phone but if you do provide those things you can recover your credentials later and it's easier for people to find you but you don't need that. Anyway, so you probably don't even really need to make an account it's just it's a little harder to use without it so there are is currently a desktop app for Mac Windows and Linux built on Electron there's an iOS app and an Android app you can use it to make all your calls and stuff so the thing about Riot they also are trying to make a good effort to bridge into other communications such as you can bridge into Slack, IRC, Gitter they're at going to be adding more I'm sure over time those are relatively new features but yeah the other thing I wanted to show you was oh, yeah, here's the matrix web page it's exactly what I told you about before it's built on that the other interesting thing is the company Purism has made a is currently doing a crowdfunding campaign for a phone that the IP first communication will be built on Matrix. Uh, when I say IP first, I mean when you make a call, it'll default first to try to go through Matrix, encrypt your call if it can, and do it over the internet, which is the next wave of how things are probably going to be done in the future. According to lots of people I know, one of them is Professor Dave Heldenbrand. He's He's the networking guy at my university. Anyway, he's PhD, blah, blah, blah. So the Purism phone is, yeah, it will have end-to-end -end encryption built on GNU Linux, all those things that I've always dreamed of. And if the crowdfunding succeeds, then it'll be the first step in an IP first phone call. It'll have an un, a network that's not dependent on 
it'll have it, you. Matrix would be like having. It's a like the internet itself. It's distributed. No one person will own it. And doing that, implementing that style of IP first communication, is the right way to do it. And by supporting Librem, we support that kind of communication. As opposed to putting all our eggs in Google Hangouts or Slack or any of those things. Anyway, that's really all I. Oh, wait, there was one other thing that I thought was interesting, but I'll just mention it instead of showing you. It's Mastodon, it's a social network. It's, again, like Matrix, it's distributed and federated, meaning they communicate together. And. It has good points and bad points. Basically, you'd have to find your own instance that moderates it to your liking. A lot of them don't have heavy moderation or strict moderation. So you'll find either something really left-wing, really right-wing, or really just, you know, not safe for work. <laughs> but if you're interested in this kind of thing I'm in, the one I'm on is mastodon.technology. And they federated, they monitor it to about what I would like, as best as I can reasonably ask. And yeah, that's that. I'll keep a link to my Mastodon profile in the description. I also have a Twitter profile. I'll put that down as well. And then the links to these things I've presented. I hope to get another video out, out soon about programming and probably either a continuation of, of one of the previous series I'm doing. Unless someone asks me to try and do something different that I like. Anyway, that's all. Thank you, and have a good whatever a time of day applicable outro greeting is for you.